shared your joys, but never your tears. You embraced your in-laws without complaint. Quite a feat, because we ain't no saints. <laughs> Let's consider Ann and Joe. She talked fast, he went slow. <laughs> Minetti and Peggy, who lived at the lake, became like your siblings, as picnics you'd make. You took in Georgie and shared your life with Mary, his twin, your loving wife. Ah, that twin, he was something. And then there was Bill, who needed a bed. He might have gone elsewhere, but became yours instead. And there were more in-laws to complete this dream, for Ruth married Larry and brought their five to the scene. And the circle grew, and each year did fly. How nicely you managed, with never a sigh. Though picnics grew noisy with Dick and that Frankie, with all the commotion, you never got cranky. <laughs> and all summer long, there'd be kids at the door, double-deckers at Greenleaf, if we dive in once more. <laughs> and rides and speedboats came without fail with Ted, Jerry, and Margo. They would all sail away in the speedboat bumping over his trail. Hit the waves, they'd rave. And speaking of kids who knocked at your door, you'd open it wide. It wasn't a chore. We'd hear your laugh as we raced down the path dressed in suits made for bathing, so there'd be no waiting. In raced Larry and Tom and then John. I came in last, because I was little, and they always made me sit in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> our, ma'am, our mom would come with Kathleen arms, trailed by Dad, Chuck and Ginger, and fresh corn from the farms. And we'd swim and cook and feast for days. I offer this bread by way of praise. Your in-laws would help to cook and to clean, and you'd welcome us all to the scene. We added Virginia to our clan, for Uncle Billy was her man. And soon they added four kids more. Christmas was growing as never before. Fred loved us all and took us in with ne'er a complaint. My dad wondered why he'd say, Fred is a saint. And when the saint sun's rays became teeny, Fred would welcome a cold martini. <laughs> <laughs> he'd have one and then two. Who could blame him? Not me and not you. Cheese and crackers served with style, cocktail memories bring a smile. Fred lived at Clearview, he lived there still, but Hattie called him from Somerville. <laughs> and now she's joined the awesome group of people who love Fred. He phones her in the morning and when she goes to bed. Just a little bit of fear with me. Time. <laughs> <laughs>